Hello guys, this is part 2 of the Blender interior design tutorial. Let us start this part by adding light. Go to add, light, select sun, press G to move the sun to the windows corner, use the X as X, Y, Z to set it on place so the light covered the floor. Go to EV setting, check ambient occlusion, bloom, space reflections. To edit the light settings, go to the light icon. First, increase the strength to something around 20. It depend on how far you've placed the sun. I am going to edit the sun position a little bit. See the light coming from the wall, that's light bleeding, we are going to fix it easily, go to EV setting, look for shadows, change method from ESM to VSM, after that check high big depth and soft shadows. Now return to the light setting and open shadow, change clip start to 1. Clip end to 200 and softness all the way down to 0. Finally set the bleed bias to something like 0.2. I am going to move the sun even further back, and that's for more realistic shadows. Keep moving it along the axis until its directions line enter the window. For now it looks good. Switch now to the solid view, hide both of the ceiling plans by select them and pressing H, select the floor, go to the materials icon. Let us first see the floor plates. It is look like it need a little tweak. Press tab to switch to edit mode for a better view. Pressing N will open the edit windows. Go to the Archie Pack edit window. Change the length to 0.71 meters. Switch in and out of the edit mode for the transformation to happen. Now return to the material setting. You can see that the floor has many material which we do not need, so delete them all. After deleting all the materials, a polygon material converter will show up. We are going to use it for setting a nice looking floor shading. You can add it to Blender by downloading it and install it in the Blender preferences same way we add the Archie Pack. To use the polygon material converter, press the file icon. Now go to the material location on your PC. Press accept, you going to see the material in a preview type. Press load one material to add it to your blender file materials. Go to the material icon next to the new button. Look for the new material and select it. Change the view to look down to see the applied material. From the top, go to the UV editor. Press number bad 7 to go to the top view. Switch to edit mode. Press A to select all, pressing you will open UV map window. For this type of unwrapping choose smart UV project. It look like the floor do not match the texture of the material.
To solve this, go to the unwrapping window and select all, rotate it by pressing R then 90 degree. This will solve 90% of the problem. The rest we need to do it manually. Go back to the view side, from the edit mode. Choose faces, select the unmatched faces and tweak them. It will not take a lot of time, so play some music and let us do it fast. Now that we are finished, go to the shading editor, press number pad 0 to enter camera view, you can see the nodes created by the polygon material converter, we are going to edit the reflection, find the invert gloss node, take the factor down to 0.4, we decrease the reflection amount in the material because we are going to add a reflection plan later so for now keep it that way. Now for the walls material, select the walls while in the shading editor, there are a lot of material assigned to it, we are going to need just two of them, the inside and the outside material, choose the inside material, it will appear in the shading editor, first let us adjust the color, from the hex code, type FFF, BF7 for white color, Add some reflections to the wall by increase the metallic to around 0.15, change the roughness to something around 0.64. After that, let us add some noise to the walls, press Shift plus A to open the add window. In the search bar look for the noise texture. Now to add the noise to our material we are going to need a normal map node. Like before press Shift plus A to open add window, search for the normal map. The node will go noise to normal map then to the normal input of the material. Take down the scale of the noise texture to around 0.2 and the strength of the normal map to the same value. I am going to edit the window rotation. If somehow you are unable to select all the parts of the window, then press in to open the edit panel, go to the RG pack edit, select edit parameters, this will highlight the window, you can then press R then Z to rotate on the Z axis, so after that, let us add some materials to the window, I am going to start with the glass panels, it is solid so the light cannot pass it, to fix this, go to the shading editor, select the material name glass, assign to the window, in the shading side if the node do not appear, check use node. In the material setting, increase the transmission value to 1. Then in the material setting panel, go to the setting section. In the blend mode choose additive, then check screen space per fraction. Go back to the EV settings. In the screen space reflections make sure refraction is checked. Finally go back to the settings section and set the shadow mode to none, and there, we have light. You can decrease the roughness value to something around 0.05 for smooth glass. So now let us finish the window materials setup. We are going to need two of them beside the glass and a marble material which will be added to the lower part of the window. First the wood, to make a woody window. Find out which of the materials assigned to the inner part, after that check use node, to add a wood texture, go to add, select image texture, add the image texture to the basic color input.
Now the handles. Let us add metallic look to the handle. Figure out which of the two material assigned to it. And delete the other one. We do not need it. For the handle material, make the color darker. Up the metallic value to something around 0.7, and change the roughness to around 0.3. There, it looks great. Now for the marble material, while selecting the window, press tab to enter edit mode. Choose faces selection, select the faces by holding shift and pressing the left mouse button. After that, assign the selection faces to a new material by hitting the plus icon. We are going to use the polygon converter, like before, hit the folder icon in the converter, go to your file location, hit accept when you're there, press load one material to add it to your materials, from the material icon search for marble. Likely we do not have to unwrap it because the window already has a UV. Now for the other window. Let do the same. One thing to mention, you can select more faces by highlighting one face, then press Ctrl and plus, you can notice the marble outside is above the floor. We are going to fix it later when we add the railing. So for now leave it that way. For the final part of the windows, we need some metal outside, for a metal material, go to the polygon material converter, add the metallic material, all the polygon material in this tutorial are free. First I added the metal material to all the outside part, but it looks awful, so you can just delete the window inside material, it will take the wood setting. After that let us add the metal to the remaining part outside, choose the frames, assign the metal material to it.
put the reflection multiply to 0.1, change the invert gloss to around 0.4. the color node, and let us change the color to something gray dark. Finally add some metallic value to it and we are done. For the next part we are going to finish the modeling for the ceiling, add an interior light spots, in place some furniture so for that time, stay well.